Are you a UFC fan or a boxing fan? Yeah, I, I watch it once in a while, UFC. I like boxing. Yeah, yeah. Who's your favorite boxer of all time? Who's my favorite boxer of all the time is Muhammad Ali. He's my hero. I had an opportunity to bodyguard him when I was back in the day and whatnot. I used to write essays and, and, and speeches about him. He's my hero. What was so good about Muhammad Ali? Do you have a crazy Muhammad Ali story for well, me? The thing that made me like Muhammad Ali, he has said my body is a tool, it's my temple, so I got to take care and whatnot. And the way he talked and his rhythm, his rhyme, and stuff like that, and he, I, I just love the man. Was he a hard guy to bodyguard for? Was it was it very easy? No, he. Matter of fact, just the, the, I learned a lot of stuff from Muhammad Ali. The going back into the hood and stuff like that. We used to go around in, in the rough areas. You see guys arguing, gambling on the corner, about to cut each other. He said. And the guys stop fighting. They say it's a champ. They say break that up. And Ali would stop stuff. So I would go in the ghetto and see guys fighting. I say, hey man, don't be fun. Hey, that's Mr. T. Then I talk to him a little bit, you know. So a lot of stuff I do as far as PR, I learned from Muhammad Ali. Matter of fact, he was the one who told me it's the squeaking wheel that gets the grease. Really? So he said you gotta be different but good. See, a lot of guys are different and weird, but he told me you gotta be different but good. And I stuck with it. So after the first, you know, people say, who's that big wild black guy, whatever, then after a while they find out who I am. That this guy love his mother. He tell kids to be good. You know, that's what it's about. You I know? love it.